So what we need to do is we need to set, um, send those um, data as AJAX um, requests. So we're just going to say dollar dot AJAX. This is available because we included jQuery into our script um, includes. Okay. So which URL do we want to send it to? We want to send it to comment form dot attribute. And um, which attribute is that? And the attribute is action. Okay. We want to grab the link um, that where this comment um, form here has to be submitted to, which is process.php, but we don't want to hard code it. So let's just get it from the comment form. And um, the data that has to be submitted to that um, page is um, a object, which is title, which has a title key and another one, which has a title of, uh, so the key of body and a value of this body that we've got here. And next, let's just submit the parent ID and the parent ID will have a value of parent ID as well. So next, let's set the uh, method to post. Okay, so that we post the values using Ajax. So when the uh, when we've returned from the Ajax posting successfully, we need to um, pass in a success handler here, which processes um, the data that comes back. Okay, so for now, um, let's just append a new media element to um, this comment here. Anytime that we reply to a comment, let's just post in some dummy data there. So I'll just paste in a quick snippet here, which I created. Um, okay, so let's create a new media element. And um, okay, so new media basically is just the same um, HTML as this media structure here. Okay, so there's nothing different except that we're not doing echo comment um, title and all those things. Okay, but so these have some fillet um, text in here, which we'll make use of soon. Um, this curly braces here for title and the body. That's what we're going to replace um, with this title and body here, okay? So we have constructed a new media element. So let's append that to the appropriate place. So but before we do that, let's say new media dot um, replace or new media equals to new media dot replace. And what we want to replace, we want to replace um, this title here with the actual title of um, the comment form that we have submitted. So let's just put that in a string. So replace this with title. And then replace the body with the body as well. Okay, so we also replacing this with the value of body. And finally, we want to append this new media just right before the comment form. Okay, so let's say um, comment form dot um, before. So just before the comment form, let's say new media, and then let's empty the values inside the comment form. So let's say comment um, or title field dot value. And let's set into an empty string. So anytime we submit the form, we're gonna set the value um, title field and the body field to an empty string. Okay. So let me just comment this out quickly here, just to show you what that is doing. I'll go back to my browser, refresh, and now um, let's just submit a title here and let's say body. When I submit, as you can see, it is appended to the list of comments. Okay. So let's create a nested one. Let's reply to comment three. Let's say title for comment to body again. So let's just um, submit this. As you can see, it's nested underneath this comment tree. And we can nest as many levels as we want. So let's say title three, body three. Okay, let's submit. As you can see, we are just nesting, nesting. But um, if you notice that, that, that data that we're inputting here is not being replaced here and that's where these lines come into play so i'll comment on comment them and save this here so i'll just replace um, re refresh the browser and now when i do uh let's say hello hi how are you and now when i submit this the actual text um, will be replaced in in case of those curly braces and such and we can reply to this as well here and say Hi back. I am okay. Thanks for asking. How about you? And I'll just submit here. As you can see, um, it is replying 
include this comment here and nesting that data underneath it okay well, finally let's just inspect our chrome um, browser um, inspector here and look at the network tab um, basically what i want to show you is that the data is being submitted to the process.php file that we created a while back but since we're not doing any processing here nothing will come back as a result so i'll just say great great we are all fine so i'll submit that as you can see it is submitting all this data here um so we're submitting the form title and the body to um, this process.php file 